Congratulations on purchasing the Black Box Prompter. Let's go over the basics so you can start loading songs and set lists and get you fully prepared for your next show. When you unbox your Black Box Prompter, you'll see accessories such as the power cord, an extra USB thumb drive for storing and transferring songs, a three button foot pedal for navigating and turning pages, as well as a wireless keyboard with a trackpad to edit songs, set lists, and even download songs straight from the web. Now on the left side of the prompter is a panel of ports, including a power switch, plug for your power cable, HDMI output to connect our Echo model which mirrors your prompter, as well as USB ports for plugging in your wireless keyboard, your page turning pedal, thumb drive to transfer files, etc. Above the panel is a 1 8 inch headphone jack to connect a speaker which is helpful for learning songs from YouTube, playing music from Spotify, or listening to any site online where audio is needed. Now let's pull out your pedal, also known as a page turner. It's like a three button mouse. The left pedal is previous to go back and the right pedal is next to go forward. And the middle pedal is the select button, which is like hitting enter on your keyboard. And anytime you want to go back to the previous page or menu that you're on, simply double stomp the left previous pedal. And speaking of keyboard, included with your purchase is a wireless keyboard with a built-in trackpad. So when you open the battery compartment, you'll see the wireless dongle about the size of your fingernail. Insert the dongle into the USB port on the side of your prompter. Power your keyboard on and you'll be able to use the keyboard and trackpad to edit songs and set lists to prepare for an upcoming event. When you first power on your prompter, you'll see the default startup screen which can be changed out with your own image like your band's logo. Watch the video on our Getting Started page to learn how to replace that default image. And the first time you boot up your prompter, you'll notice a set of instructions to give you an overview. You'll now see the main menu. And think of the main menu as your home base. It's the top level menu, uh, and each item on the list will take you to a corresponding sub-menu where you can navigate settings and features. So take a moment and look around, get familiar with the menu and the sub-menu items. Remember, to go back to the previous menu, you simply double-click the left or previous pedal. Now, the very first thing you'll want to do is connect to Wi-Fi so you can receive important updates and connect to the internet. Go find your Wi-Fi password and if you're using your right pedal, go down to settings and press the middle select button. First setting is for Wi-Fi. Press the middle select button again and you'll see a list of available networks. Some may show up more than once, which is okay. Find your network and press the middle select button to select it. We recommend using your actual keyboard rather than the on-screen keyboard, so use your pedal to first select the keyboard or the KBD option to put into keyboard mode. Then enter your Wi-Fi password, which is case sensitive. When done, hit enter on your keyboard and it'll take you back to the settings submenu, and you should see the name of your Wi-Fi network in parentheses. If you don't see it or you got an error message, just double check your password and try again. Double click the left previous button to go back to the main menu. Now, let's start from the very top. The first item on the menu is the songs and set lists section. Select songs, set lists, and when you're naming songs and set lists, avoid special characters like apostrophes, ampersands, and parentheses. Now dashes are okay, and they're recommended whenever you're using spaces on your set lists. Now, here you can view your saved set lists, and then the next item is every song, which is like a default set list, listing all of the songs on your black box prompter in alphabetical order. The next item is display startup image. You can quickly show the startup image, which is especially helpful uh, to show your band logo, if you wanna quickly show your logo instead of lyrics when you're on break. Now, once you have all of your songs transferred to the box, you can create multiple set lists from the prompter, listing songs in the order you plan on playing them. You can also turn on song and set list editing and use your keyboard to edit both songs and set lists directly on your box. You can also search for songs and set lists as well as delete them one at a time from the box. To go back to the previous menu, double stomp your left previous pedal. Next is the internet and presentations menu. When I go into that, I have the option to go into internet, so I'll click select to go next. Then I have two options here, either start browser or set homepage. So for the first time going through this, let's go ahead and set our default homepage. I like to set it as YouTube 
Uh, it could be Ultimate Guitar. It could really be any homepage you want. You can always change this later. Uh, if you were to click Set Homepage, from here I can set my homepage URL. In this case, I'm just going to type in YouTube.com. Going to hit Enter, and you can see here it says your homepage is presently set to YouTube.com. So now I have the option to start browser, and I can click start browser, and it will go out and take me to YouTube.com, as you can see here. To get out of this window, we would simply hit Control W to close the window. Now I'm going to go back to my previous menu by hitting the double left button. The other option on the submenu is presentations. Presentations takes you into a similar program, a slideshow program, similar to PowerPoint. Please note, this can read PowerPoint files, but given the orientation of your screen, it will only show the up and down orientation. Going back to the main menu, you have an option called Sing Along, Sync, and Mirror. I'm going to select that option, and you have five options here. You can turn on Sing Along, as well as Easy Load. Sing Along is the program that is unique to Black Box Prompter. It allows your audience to scan a QR code so they can see the lyrics as you see them on the prompter in near real time. First, you would have to enable Sing Along. Next, you could go to show the QR label, which you can then print out. You can also sync with OnSong, which is a library of songs to scroll lyrics and chords available on the iPad. You also have the ability for wireless sync, which allows you to connect multiple prompters wirelessly by using a local network or Wi-Fi network. And you also have the option to go into mirror mode for any iOS devices such as your Apple iPad or iPhone. More details on these can be found on videos on the Getting Started page. Next option is to update your software. We release updates all the time. Uh, so we recommend you periodically updating the software at least once or twice a month. You will get emails anytime there's a new software update. From this menu, you also have the option to back up your songs, set lists, logos, and also the QR label that I mentioned earlier for Sing Along so you can print it out. You're able to restore or load your songs and set lists from your backup thumb drive. And you can also load only any new items from backup through your thumb drive. You also have the ability to perform a factory reset in the event you're wanting to uh, sell your box and have a fresh install for the next customer. The next item we touched on earlier was settings. You have a variety of settings. Uh, we've already covered the internet settings or Wi-Fi settings. Uh, here you can change your font size. You can change your startup image. You can determine if you want the startup image to show up automatically after each set. That's an option. You can change the color of your chords in number six. You can also change the options for your colors if you want to show colors just on chords or just on your headers uh, or you want to color code the entire section or both chords and headers. You have plenty of options for automatic coloring. You can inverse your screen color. So currently we have white text on a black background. You can also set black text on a white background if you wish. You have the ability to hide any chords. So if you have chord charts and you want to hide the chords, you have the ability to, to not show those chords and only show the lyrics. You can also turn on scrolling through this feature right here. And then you have the option to hide any additional uh, page prompts. Page prompts are tips that come at the end of the uh, menu. Once you get accustomed to everything, you might wanna turn that off or hide those tips. The next item from the main menu is the help section as well as a referral program. So here you'll find all of the instructions that are needed to operate your black box as well as our referral program. If you know other folks that might enjoy uh, using the black box prompter for their specific needs, uh, please look into our ref referral program. We give a 10% commission to any sales that come through your referrals. And then your referrals get 10% off of, uh, of the price. And then lastly, we have the ability to shut down safely. This is recommended anytime you power off your box just like you would a desktop computer or laptop. You would want to go to uh, shut this down. If you do power off the box without going to safe shutdown, it's likely gonna be okay, but we do recommend this as a best practice to make sure 
uh, it prevents any likelihood of any files getting corrupted. And that's it, guys. Uh, please continue to look out for emails for updates from us. We're updating software all the time. Our updates are free. Uh, and then if you have any questions, please get familiar with uh, all of the, the videos and help articles that are found on our support page at blackboxprompter.com support.